I try to put in the front suspension arms. These uh, long bolts, I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on these to help keep them from getting corroded because they fit inside a bushing. All right, put the suspension arm in. Slides up here on this side. Want to put it through from the outside to the inside. There we go. All right, that one's in. There we go. Washer and nut on there. This back one is a fatter bolt than the front one. And on the other side, a skinnier bolt. All right, I'll snug those down a little bit. Not totally tight yet. All right, and the other side goes the same way. bolt through there. Slide this bolt in there. All right, I'll put the nuts on but not tighten them up. Next thing I'm going to do is put these uh, knuckles assemblies back together. I've got a uh, seal, that seal. That's the knuckle seal number 710255. I put a little bit of grease around the outside of the seal so I could slide it in easier. There we go. Yeah, it's in straight. Grease and do the same thing on the other one. We'll check. Looks like this side might be not quite all the way in. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. I have it locked in my vise. I'm just going to uh, nice grease around the uh, inside of this seal here. Now I'm going to take this spindle, I'm going to put RTV all around the mating surface area here. I'm going to put some RTV around this side too. Now I'm going to put this spindle on and I want this groove to be facing this short arm over here. That's where the opening will be when I put the dust cover on, right? Right now I'm going to put the dust cover on. These two here should be at the opening of the dust cover. And it should fit right on there if you do it right. And then four bolts should thread right in there. Okay, I'll tighten those up to about 40 foot-pounds. Okay, next I'm going to have my hub right here. I'm going to uh, grease up these inner bearings really good. Just work my way around it. All right, I got this all greased up real good. Just gonna drop it right in there. Okay, squeeze that. Maybe I'll add a little more grease. All right, next I'm gonna put this uh, inside oil seal on. This is uh, 710239. The side with the spring goes in towards the bearings. Worried about messing up my. Alright, I think I got it. Now I'm going to put on the outside seal. I'm using National 710240 that has a metal side on one side and just rubber on the other. The flat metal side goes down against this lip here. Okay, that's in there pretty good. I have this all greased up really good, inside, outside. I'm gonna slide that down right on top of the spindle and squeeze that seal in there. There it goes. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, now I need to grease the outside bearing the same way I did the inside one. All right, I got this bearing all greased up really good. I'm just gonna slide it in there. 
Mm. Oh, there it goes. All right, now it's in there. Let's pack it down in there a little bit. Okay, I have that all greased up really good. Next, I'm going to put on this washer. And then this locking ring. I don't think it makes any difference which side it goes. Okay, this is a special axle nut tool. This needs to be torqued 40. I'm going to start at 140 foot-pounds. <clears throat> okay, that's 140. Now I'm going to put this ring on. It has a little groove that slides into that groove on the spindle. And the, the side with dips goes up here. And what I need to do is see if my screw holes will line up. So if you look look right down on there, you can see that my screw holes are not lined up. I'm going to have to tighten it a little bit more. I torqued it to 147. And I think my screw holes lining up. I think they'll line up. One, two, three, four. Yep, all the screws went in. Just gonna snug those down. Not too super tight, but tight. That should be good. I think it's good. It's supposed to be a little stiff. Sounds okay. All right. Okay, now I gotta do the same exact thing to the other one. Before taking this out of the vise, now I want to take uh, this piece and shove it right up in there. Put the little crown nut on there. These uh, crown nuts are unusual because they take a size 19 socket. I'm going to torque that down to 45 foot-pounds. Pull this lined up okay. Now I just put the cotter pin in. Yeah, it should be good. That seems good. Now just do the same exact thing to the other one. 